everyone, hope you're doing well. Magic Flying Potato here, and I am going to talk about the garden patches that have been released with the uh, Shroom and Doom update. Uh, so currently there are four items that you can grow, but total of six. Okay, so we're able to grow the plant fibers, the clover leaves, the sprigs, and the mushrooms. So the mushrooms counts as one, but it also counts as three more. So you can grow the little ones. You could grow the toadstools, which are the ones that have the red tops, and the mushrooms that have the brown tops. We're gonna go ahead and look at each of these in the um, in the in the gardens. So we'll start with the plant fiber. So as you can see, I got um, I got a fiber in this one. Uh, the grow time is 15 hours, and the green thumb chance is 40%. Technically, I do not really know what the green thumb chance is. This is the only item currently that has that green thumb chance. And all I'm guessing is it's going to be something that's going to come in the future. But I'm, I'm also uh, figuring that this might give you uh, more results uh, when you when you harvest this. Uh, as you can see, there are um, five slots to put fertilizer in. I'll talk about that in a bit. The next one we'll look at is the clover leaf, 15 hours, no percent of green thumb. Next one is the the uh, sprig, 20 hours to grow the sprigs. The the little mushrooms, which is 48 hours. The uh, toadstools, which is 72. And uh, the regular mushroom, which is 72. So once you plant this, and if you decide to put the fertilizer in, which is uh, currently the fertilizer is just the spoiled meat from, from the bugs that you uh, collect and, and they go bad. If you put five in, one to five, uh, it will modify how this, this time is. It lowers it. And like I said, I'll explain this one in a little bit because I will show you the difference. So once you plant these, don't walk away. Make sure you hit Q to actually plant them because if you just put them in here and walk away, they're not going to grow. So go ahead. As soon as you hit the Q button, it gives you the time to harvest, which is again, 72 hours. So I'll just go down the row and make sure I plant all of these. And what, another good way of telling once you if, if you planted them or not, the plant will actually show up in the garden itself. All right, so once I've done this, uh, we will we will come back. I will come back once these things are fully grown and we'll harvest it. Now we're back with the uh, most of the plants are completely grown in these uh, the the gardens. These two right here still have an hour, um, so I'm not even going to worry about these two. As you can see, they're they're pretty big and. Um, yeah, so, uh, and I will go over the growth rate um, with these toadstools right here after I show you these. So here is the fiber, and um, you can see that there's two different styles growing here. So the way you get to um, harvest these is you click on them. You got to target, target the little icon like that and click nab. And that gave, us, that gave me three, and let's see if I can... Okay, so I can't target that one so I'm gonna chop it and this one gave me four let me see if I can nab it or okay so the small ones you can nab and these these bigger ones I guess this is that green thumb percentage which maybe give you more I kind of don't like currently the way uh, things on these gardens are, are wor working because uh, as you can see it's not the easiest to pick things up with um, so you just go and you just cut them down like you would normally if you were out in the yep just like that uh, if you were just out trying to gather them in the world go ahead and pick these up and so that's how the garden works for the the four the four basic items. Uh, and right now I'm gonna go switch over to the mushrooms or the toadstools and show you the growth rate. These are the different growth rates of the mushrooms using the um, the different amounts of spoiled meat. As you can see to the left, that has no spoiled meat, all the way up to the right which has all five pieces. I have uh, logged down the times that each one takes to grow, so if you have plenty of spoiled meat laying around, I would definitely suggest using all five pieces 
because uh, if you look over to the right, that one right there is almost ready to get harvested, and that only takes 36 hours. Now, down here, this one has no spoiled meat at all, and that one takes 72 hours. And then all the ones in between. So this has one, which is, these are approximations, uh, 64.5 hours. Uh, this one right here is 57.36 hours. Next one over, 50 hours, 50.22 hours. And this one right here is 43.11 hours. And uh, this one right here was uh, 36 hours. So as you can see, they definitely a huge difference between nothing and all. Yeah, I did this on one of my other videos, which I will link above when I made the uh, the grinders in these ovens. But I'm going to show you again, uh, just in case if you didn't watch it, the difference between the three different types of mushrooms in the grinder. Uh, and this is why I was saying that the toadstools are the best. So we're going to go ahead and put these in order like this. And uh, once these are done um, processing, they'll just drop down and we'll come right back and I'll show you the difference between what these basic mushrooms give you, what the big mushrooms, and what the toadstools give you. So as you can see, the results of the different uh, mushrooms that we, we just grinded, uh, this was the small ones, so they give you two. The regular mushrooms, which are the, uh, the ones with the brown caps, give you six, and the toadstools, the ones with the red caps, give you ten. This is why I was saying the ones with the red, the toadstools, are the best ones to be planting in your gardens. If you're planning on building the mushroom bricks or making the mushroom brick houses because uh, 10 for one, one chunk. And as you can see in the ovens, it takes five of these to make two bricks. So if you do the math, making the red mushrooms, growing the red mushrooms are the best ones in order to get a lot of mushroom bricks. So hopefully this uh, this tutorial helps. If you guys have any um, questions or comments, please leave them below. And you guys have a great time out there exploring your backyard. I am Magic Flying Potato and I am Oot.